celebration of your love, to go off and do some secretive thing, right. I felt was inappropriate. Right. Plus... You are so missing the point, my friend. You no, no, no. <laughs> but, me, but I continue here. Yeah. Plus, you can get away with so much more. Because yeah. you throw it together, and then you hire the strippers, and the dancers, and you have the, the pole in your room. We but went... she's right there. What, what can makes... you, you have to go there and go like, ooh, uh, ooh. No, let yeah. me tell you, let Strippers, me tell you. Ooh. She would much rather be in my presence while we have a soiree as such. I see. Rather than like me sneaking off and going, ah, oh, I just played poker with the guys. Right, right, and you, you come know? back with underwear on your head. Uh... Well, I still did that. <laughs> now, do, this was in Las Vegas that you Las had Vegas, this event? Las Vegas, we went to the Hard Rock Hotel, mm -hmm. and they have a, a suite up there which actually has a bowling alley in it. Which is pretty interesting because... You don't want to be next to that suite, I'm guessing. You no, know? probably not. Yeah. It's not a good night's sleep. No. But here's the thing is that, you know, I thought this is my chance to shine. You know, my wife's here. It's all good. We got strippers and a fun show. This is, I'm really going to, you know, I'm really going to set I it I can't off. get used to that. I'm, this is great. I got my wife. We got the strippers. <laughs> well, We're all set to go. One would think it's good, except right. for some reason, when strippers get around my wife, I turn completely invisible. Because they all want to talk to they her? They want to talk to Carmen. So you know what I did? What? I was bowling. Right. <laughs> That's great. So. The strippers are in the corner with your wife. <laughs> That's the way and, it was. And uh, you're, you're bowling. Yeah. That's but, alone. That's terrific. But you're terrific. a married guy. Tell me about your bachelor party. Because you did, obviously didn't do... My bachelor party was, uh, and I'm being completely honest here, I got married in Seattle. Okay. And uh, flew out to Seattle. And we had to do like a show two nights before. So uh, I went out to a restaurant with my friends, and I was so tired because we'd been working really hard yeah. that we uh, we ate some steaks, and then I said, "Okay, let's go to the bar and have a drink." And I had like half a drink, and I said, "I gotta go to sleep." My point. And I exactly. went to sleep, and because uh, I was just so exhausted, so that was my crazy bachelor party. That's what I'm saying. At least I went bowling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, your bowling alone oh, is God. still 50 times better than what I did. I was bowling, and there was, you know, in the periphery, I could see strippers doing crazy stuff with my wife, so it was all good. Right. <laughs> That's great. Well, before really I went to, to sleep, I watched Showtime, and, uh... <laughs> but it was nothing. It was, um... If it now, was after dark, it was kind of similar. Yeah, then, right? it wasn't. No, it was. Uh, I forget what it was, but it was uh, absolutely like a movie. Penn about and Teller. It was about a movie about ponies or something. Yeah, it not was good. Depressing. Not um, good. Now. I, I, I don't hope I'm not being too personal here, but this has been discussed in the press. Okay, here we go. Carmen yes. says that you took Viagra on your wedding night. That is true. It's Carmen Electra! I know. <laughs> no, let me explain to you. Let me, let me put this to no, rest here. <laughs> Here's the thing, baby. Um, you these, are, these are called redundant systems, is what I know, I'm saying. I understand that. I understand that on paper it looks like that, but let yeah. me explain. Once okay. again, I got to backpedal here a little bit. Right. But um, first of all, as a wedding gift, my doctor gave us a starter pack of Viagra. I was like, hey, okay. Who is this doctor, first of all? You know what? Put it this way. I stopped doing drugs a long time ago, so this was my way of really, you know, tearing off the, the new season with my marriage. You know, a okay. little blue love, as we call it. Blue love? Blue love. It's called blue love? Well, they're blue, and, uh, you know, right. they enhance the love, I Sounds guess. Sounds like a Smurf porno to me, but... <laughs> That's I mean, me. I'd rather you gave me that, actually. <laughs> yeah, have you, you seen why. the Smurf porno? That's good. Those guys are crazy. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you what happened is, uh, you know, you, you've been married, and so the married, the union is wonderful. When yes. you're standing there exchanging your vows, yes, that's, yes. that's really important. But the rest of the night, you're a host. Right. You don't sit down. You, you don't eat. You work at your wedding. You're working, so you get to your room around 2, 3 in the morning. You're exhausted. Right. At least we were, because we had a big wedding and right. a lot of people, and we were, you know... We, maybe we got a dance, and then I didn't right. see her for the rest of the night. Right. So by the time we got to our room, it was like 3 in the morning, and I just figured, you know, hey, the doctor hooked us up. It's a wild night. Right. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen, and at a specific timetable with the blue love. Yeah, so what ended up happening is we took, I took the blue love. We, uh, you know, we went down... Yeah, we know what happened. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we... And, uh... Yeah. This is for the hearing impaired. I like this. Oh, and, and then, um, mm. I want you to use that on future shows. I'm going to. That's, you know, the I'm universal going to, symbol. Yeah. So, but what ended up happening is the lovemaking was astonishing. We, we had a great time. Um, and then for the next eight hours, I had the worst headache I've ever had in my life. That's what happens. We tried to watch TV, I've heard, and you uh, know, all I could get was a, a David Spade movie, and it was just it really made the, it was a nightmarish experience. Right, right. <laughs> Suddenly, my pony movie is sounding pretty good. Pretty damn good. My half a drink and a pony movie. Yeah. Uh, is that a side effect of Viagra? You get the headache? Evidently. Yeah. 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 I, haven't, I haven't experimented since. Uh, well, the uh, let's make sure we, we get to the book. Don't try this at home. Yeah. Uh, what, what's this? And this book, I guess, uh, there's a lot of fascinating pictures because you have a 
uh, a machine, a photo booth, in, a my photo house. booth yeah. in your house. And uh, there's a lot of great, amazing, cool, candid photos of people in the book. But one of the nice things about this book is that uh, you do not uh, make a profit on this book. Is that right? No, I don't. Actually, that's uh, a book. It's about my experiences with drug addiction and coming out of it and, mm -hmm. uh, and finding real joy in my life and, and real inner peace. And so the proceeds of that book go to an organization called the Musicians Assistance Program, mm -hmm. which uh, is an organization that helps fund treatment for struggling addicts. Cool. That's a good thing. Well, uh, Don't Try This at Home uh, is available now. And uh, very nice to have you on the Thank you. Please come back. Yeah, Dave Navarro. We'll be right back. Interpol on the show.